Antimony, Wikipedia article audio. Antimony is a chemical element with symbol SB and atomic number 51. A lustrous grey metalloid, it is found in nature mainly as the sulfide mineral stibnite. Antimony compounds have been known since ancient times and were powdered for use as medicine and cosmetics, often known by the Arabic name, coal. Metallic antimony was also known, but it was erroneously identified as lead upon its discovery. The earliest known description of the metal in the West was written in 1540 by Vanicho Bering Uchio. For some time, China has been the largest producer of antimony and its compounds, with most production coming from the Ziquangshan mine in Hunan. The industrial methods for refining antimony are roasting and reduction with carbon or direct reduction of stibnite with iron. Characteristics Properties The largest applications for metallic antimony is an alloy with lead and tin and the lead antimony plates in lead acid batteries. Alloys of lead and tin with antimony have improved properties for solders, bullets, and plain bearings. Antimony compounds are prominent additives for chlorine and bromine containing fire retardants found in many commercial and domestic products. An emerging application is the use of antimony in microelectronics. Antimony is an anictogen and has an electronegativity of 2.05. In accordance with periodic trends, it is more electronegative than tin or bismuth, and less electronegative than tellurium or arsenic. Antimony is stable in air at room temperature, but reacts with oxygen if heated to produce antimony trioxide, SB2O3, 758. Antimony is a silvery, lustrous grey metalloid with a Mohs scale hardness of 3 which is too soft to make hard objects. Coins of antimony were issued in China's Guizhou province in 1931 but the durability was poor and the minting was soon discontinued. Antimony is resistant to attack by acids. Four allotropes of antimony are known, a stable metallic form and three metastable forms. Elemental antimony is a brittle, silver-white shiny metalloid. When slowly cooled, molten antimony crystallizes in a trigonal cell, isomorphic with the grey allotrope of arsenic. A rare explosive form of antimony can be formed from the electrolysis of antimony trichloride. When scratched with a sharp implement, an exothermic reaction occurs and white fumes are given off as metallic antimony forms, when rubbed with a pestle in a mortar. A strong detonation occurs. Black antimony is formed upon rapid cooling of antimony vapor. It has the same crystal structure as red phosphorus and black arsenic, it oxidizes in air and may ignite spontaneously. At 100 degrees Celsius, it gradually transforms into the stable form. The yellow allotrope of antimony is the most unstable. It has only been generated by oxidation of stibine at 90 degrees C. Above this temperature and in ambient light, this metastable allotrope transforms into the more stable black allotrope. Elemental antimony adopts a layered structure in which layers consist of fused, ruffled, six-membered rings. The nearest and next nearest neighbors form an irregular octahedral complex with the three atoms in each double layer slightly closer than the three atoms in the next. This relatively close packing leads to a high density of 6.697g cm3, but the weak bonding between the layers leads to the low hardness and brittleness of antimony, 758. Isotopes Antimony has two stable isotopes, 
121 SB with a natural abundance of 57.36% and 123 SB with a natural abundance of 42.64%. It also has 35 radioisotopes, of which the longest lived is 125 SB with a half-life of 2.75 years. In addition, 29 metastable states have been characterized. The most stable of these is 120M1SB with a half-life of 5.76 days. Isotopes that are lighter than the stable 123SB tend to decay by beta plus decay, and those that are heavier tend to decay by beta decay, with some exceptions. The abundance of antimony in the Earth's crust is estimated to be 0.2 to 0.5 parts per million, comparable to thallium at 0.5 parts per million and silver at 0.07 ppm. Even though this element is not abundant, it is found in more than 100 mineral species. Antimony is sometimes found natively but more frequently it is found in the sulfide stibnite which is the predominant ore mineral. Occurrence Antimony compounds are often classified according to their oxidation state, Sb and Sb. The plus 5 oxidation state is more stable. Antimony trioxide is formed when antimony is burnt in air. In the gas phase, the molecule of the compound is Sb, 4O, 6, but it polymerizes upon condensing. Antimony pentoxide can be formed only by oxidation with concentrated nitric acid. Antimony also forms a mixed valence oxide, antimony tetroxide, which features both Sb and Sb. Unlike oxides of phosphorus and arsenic, these oxides are amphoteric, do not form well-defined oxoacids, and react with acids to form antimony salts. Antimonous acid Sb, 3 is unknown, but the conjugate base sodium antimonite, 4 forms upon fusing sodium oxide and Sb, 4 O, 6, 763 transition metal antimonites are also known. 122 antimonic acid exists only as the hydrate HSB, 6, forming salts as the antimonate anion SB, 6. When a solution containing this anion is dehydrated, the precipitate contains mixed oxides, 143. Compounds Many antimony ores are sulfides, including stibnite, pyrargyrite, zinconite, gemesonite, and boulangerite. 757 antimony pentasulfide is non-stoichiometric and features antimony in the plus 3 oxidation state and SS bonds. Several thioantimonides are known, such as 2, and 2. Oxides and hydroxides Antimony forms two series of halides, SBX, 3 and SBX, 5. The trihalides SBF, 3, SBCl, 3, SBBr, 3, and SBI, 3 are all molecular compounds having trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. Halides The trifluoride SBF 3 is prepared by the reaction of Sb, 2O, 3 with HF, 761-762. It is Lewis acidic and readily accepts fluoride ions to form the complex anions SBF, 4 and SBF2, 5. Molten SBF, 3 is a weak electrical conductor. The trichloride SbCl. 3 is prepared by dissolving Sb, 2S, 3 in hydrochloric acid. Antimonides, hydrides, and organoantimony compounds. The pentahalides Sbf, 5 and Sbcl, 
5 have trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry in the gas phase, but in the liquid phase, SBF, 5 is polymeric, whereas SBCL, 5 is monomeric, 761 SBF, 5 is a powerful Lewis acid used to make the superacid fluoroantimonic acid. Oxyhalides are more common for antimony than for arsenic and phosphorus. Antimony trioxide dissolves in concentrated acid to form oxoantimonyl compounds such as spokeland, 2 so, 4, 764. Compounds in this class generally are described as derivatives of SB3. Antimony forms antimonides with metals such as indium antimonide and silver antimonide, 760 the alkali metal and zinc antimonides, such as Na3SB and Zn3SB2, are more reactive. Treating these antimonides with acid produces the highly unstable gas stibine, SBH, 3. Stibine can also be produced by treating SB3+, Salts with hydride reagents such as sodium borohydride. Stibine decomposes spontaneously at room temperature. Because stibine has a positive heat of formation, it is thermodynamically unstable and thus antimony does not react with hydrogen directly. Organoantimony compounds are typically prepared by alkylation of antimony halides with Grignard reagents. A large variety of compounds are known with both SB and SB centers, including mixed chloroorganic derivatives, anions, and cations. Examples include SB3, SB24, and cyclic N. Pentacoordinated organoantimony compounds are common, examples being SB5 and several related halides. History Antimony sulfide, SB2S3, was recognized in pre-dynastic Egypt as an eye cosmetic as early as about 3100 BC, when the cosmetic palette was invented. Etymology An artifact, said to be part of a vase, made of antimony dating to about 3000 BC was found at Tela, Chaldea, and a copper object plated with antimony dating between 2500 BC and 2200 BC has been found in Egypt. Austin, at a lecture by Herbert Gladstone in 1892 commented that we only know of antimony at the present day as a highly brittle and crystalline metal which could hardly be fashioned into a useful vase, and therefore this remarkable find must represent the lost art of rendering antimony malleable. World Health Organization, 20G-L, Japan, 15G-L, United States Environmental Protection Agency, Health Canada, and the Ontario Ministry of Environment, 6G-L, EU and German Federal Ministry of Environment, 5G-L. Mori was unconvinced the artifact was indeed a vase, mentioning that Selim Kanov, after his analysis of the Tello object, attempted to relate the metal to Transcaucasian natural antimony and that the antimony objects from Transcaucasia are all small personal ornaments. This weakens the evidence for a lost art of rendering antimony malleable. The Roman scholar Pliny the Elder described several ways of preparing antimony sulfide for medical purposes in his treatise Natural History. Pliny the Elder also made a distinction between male and female forms of antimony, the male form is probably the sulfide, while the female form, which is superior, heavier, and less friable, has been suspected to be native metallic antimony. The Roman naturalist Petinius Dioscorides mentioned that antimony sulfide could be roasted by heating by a current of air. It is thought that this produced metallic antimony. Production Top Producers and Production Volumes 
reserves. Production process The first description of a procedure for isolating antimony is in the 1540 book De la Pyrotechnia by Vanicho Beringuccio, predating the more famous 1556 book by Agricola, De Re Metallica. In this context Agricola has been often incorrectly credited with the discovery of metallic antimony. The book Curus Trium Polis Antimoniae, describing the preparation of metallic antimony, was published in Germany in 1604. It was purported to be written by a Benedictine monk, writing under the name Basilius Valentinus in the 15th century, if it were authentic which it is not, it would predate Beringuccio. The metal antimony was known to German chemist Andreas Libavius in 1615 who obtained it by adding iron to a molten mixture of antimony sulfide, salt and potassium tartrate. This procedure produced antimony with a crystalline or starred surface. With the advent of challenges to phlogiston theory, it was recognized that antimony is an element forming sulfides, oxides, and other compounds, as do other metals. The first natural occurrence of pure antimony in the Earth's crust was described by the Swedish scientist and local mine district engineer Anton von Swab in 1783. The type sample was collected from the Sala silver mine in the Bergslagen mining district of Sala, vast manland. Sweden. The medieval Latin form, from which the modern languages and late Byzantine Greek take their names for antimony, is antimonium. The origin of this is uncertain, all suggestions have some difficulty either of form or interpretation. The popular etymology, from New Tau Mu Omicron Nu Alpha Chi Antimonicos or French Antimoin, still has adherence. This would mean monk killer, and is explained by many early alchemists being monks, and antimony being poisonous. Another popular etymology is the hypothetical Greek word nu tau mu nu omicron antimonos, against aloneness, explained as not found as metal, or not found unalloyed. Lippmann conjectured a hypothetical Greek word alpha nu theta mu nu iota omicron nu anthemonion, which would mean fluorite, and cites several examples of related Greek words which describe chemical or biological efflorescence. The early uses of antimonium include the translations, in 1050 1100, by Constantine the African of Arabic medical treatises. Several authorities believe antimonium is a scribal corruption of some Arabic form, Meyerhoff derives it from Ithamid, other possibilities include Athamar, the Arabic name of the metalloid, and a hypothetical astimi, derived from or parallel to the Greek. Supply Risk and Critical Mineral Rankings The standard chemical symbol for antimony is credited to Johns Jacob Berzelius, who derived the abbreviation from stibium. The ancient words for antimony mostly have, as their chief meaning, coal, the sulfide of antimony. The Egyptians called antimony MSDMT, in hieroglyphs, the vowels are uncertain, but an Arabic tradition holds that the word is made emet, the Coptic form of the word is. The Greek word, Sigma tau mu mu iota stimi, is probably a loan word from Arabic or from Egyptian STM. Europe U.S. Applications And is used by Attic tragic poets of the 5th century BC. Later Greeks also used sigma tau beta iota stibi, as did Celsus and Pliny, writing in Latin in the 1st century AD. Pliny also gives the names Stimi, Larbaris, Alabaster, and the a very common Platyophthalmus, White Eye. Later Latin authors adapted the word to Latin as Stibium. 
the Arabic word for the substance, as opposed to the cosmetic, can appear as Ithamid, Athmud, Atmad, or Atmad. Litra suggests the first form, which is the earliest, derives from Stimmida, an accusative for Stimmi. The British Geological Survey reported that in 2005, China was the top producer of antimony with approximately 84% of the world share, followed at a distance by South Africa, Bolivia, and Tajikistan. Zikuangshan Mine in Hunan Province has the largest deposits in China with an estimated deposit of 2.1 million metric tons. In 2016, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, China accounted for 76.9% of total antimony production, followed in second place by Russia with 6.9% and Tajikistan with 6.2%. Chinese production of antimony is expected to decline in the future as mines and smelters are closed down by the government as part of pollution control. Especially due to a new environmental protection law having gone into effect on January 2015 and revised emission standards of pollutants for stannum, antimony, and mercury having gone into effect, hurdles for economic production are higher. According to the National Bureau of Statistics in China, by September 2015 50% of antimony production capacity in the Hunan province had not been used. Reported production of antimony in China has fallen and is unlikely to increase in the coming years, according to the Riskill report. No significant antimony deposits in China have been developed for about 10 years and the remaining economic reserves are being rapidly depleted. Flame Retardants The world's largest antimony producers, according to Riskill, are listed below. According to statistics from the USGS, current global reserves of antimony will be depleted in 13 years. However, the USGS expects more resources will be found. The extraction of antimony from ores depends on the quality and composition of the ore. Most antimony is mined as the sulfide, lower grade ores are concentrated by froth flotation, while higher grade ores are heated to 500-600 degrees C, the temperature at which stibnite melts and separates from the gang minerals. Antimony can be isolated from the crude antimony sulfide by reduction with scrap iron. The sulfide is converted to an oxide, the product is then roasted, sometimes for the purpose of vaporizing the volatile antimony oxide, which is recovered. This material is often used directly for the main applications, impurities being arsenic and sulfide. Antimony is isolated from the oxide by a carbothermal reduction. The lower grade ores are reduced in blast furnaces while the higher grade ores are reduced in reverberatory furnaces. Antimony has consistently been ranked high in European and US risk lists concerning criticality of the element indicating the relative risk to the supply of chemical elements or element groups required to maintain the current economy and lifestyle. With most of the antimony imported into Europe and the US coming from China, Chinese production is critical to supply. As China is revising and increasing environmental control standards, antimony production is becoming increasingly restricted. Additionally Chinese export quotas for antimony have been decreasing in the past years. These two factors increase supply risk for both Europe and US. According to the BGS Risk List 2015, Antimony is ranked second highest on the Relative Supply Risk Index. This indicates that it has currently the second highest supply risk for chemical elements or element groups which are of economic value to the British economy and lifestyle. Furthermore, 
Antimony was identified as one of 20 critical raw materials for the EU in a report published in 2014. As seen in figure XXX Antimony maintains high supply risk relative to its economic importance. 92% of the antimony is imported from China, which is a significantly high concentration of production. Much analysis has been conducted in the U.S. toward defining which metals should be called strategic or critical to the nation's security. Exact definitions do not exist, and views as to what constitutes a strategic or critical mineral to U.S. security diverge. In 2015, no antimony was mined in the U.S. The metal is imported from foreign countries. From 2011 to 2014 68% of America's antimony came from China, 14% from India, 4% from Mexico, and 14% from other sources. There are no government stockpiles in place currently. Alloys Other Applications the U.S. Subcommittee on Critical and Strategic Mineral Supply Chains has screened 78 mineral resources from 1996 to 2008. It found that a small subset of minerals including antimony has fallen into the category of potentially critical minerals consistently. In the future, a second assessment will be made of the found subset of minerals to identify which should be defined of significant risk and critical to U.S. interests. About 60% of antimony is consumed in flame retardants, and 20% is used in alloys for batteries, plane bearings, and solders. Precautions Antimony is mainly used in the trioxide for flame-proofing compounds, always in combination with halogenated flame retardants except in halogen-containing polymers. The flame-retarding effect of antimony trioxide is produced by the formation of halogenated antimony compounds, which react with hydrogen atoms, and probably also with oxygen atoms and O-radicals, thus inhibiting fire. Markets for these flame retardants include children's clothing, toys, aircraft, and automobile seat covers. They are also added to polyester resins and fiberglass composites for such items as light aircraft engine covers. The resin will burn in the presence of an externally generated flame, but will extinguish when the external flame is removed. Notes Bibliography Antimony forms a highly useful alloy with lead, increasing its hardness and mechanical strength. For most applications involving lead, varying amounts of antimony are used as alloying metal. In lead acid batteries, this addition improves plate strength and charging characteristics. It is used in anti-friction alloys, in bullets, and lead shot, electrical cable sheathing, type metal, solder, in pewter, and in hardening alloys with low tin content in the manufacturing of organ pipes. Three other applications consume nearly all the rest of the world's supply. One application is a stabilizer and a catalyst for the production of polyethylene terephthalate. Another is a fining agent to remove microscopic bubbles in glass, mostly for TV screens. Antimony ions interact with oxygen, suppressing the tendency of the latter to form bubbles. The third application is pigments. Antimony is increasingly being used in semiconductors as a dopant in N-type silicon wafers for diodes, infrared detectors, and Hall effect devices. In the 1950s, the emitters and collectors of NPN alloy junction transistors were doped with tiny beads of a lead antimony alloy. Indium antimonide is used as a material for mid-infrared detectors. Biology and medicine have few uses for antimony. Treatments containing antimony, known as antimonials, are used as emetics. 
Antimony compounds are used as antiprotozoan drugs. Potassium antimonyl tartrate, or tartar emetic, was once used as an antischistosomal drug from 1919 on. It was subsequently replaced by praziquantel. Antimony and its compounds are used in several veterinary preparations, such as anthiamoline and lithium antimony thiomalate, as a skin conditioner in ruminants. Antimony has a nourishing or conditioning effect on keratinized tissues in animals. Antimony-based drugs, such as megalomin antimoniate, are also considered the drugs of choice for treatment of leishmaniasis in domestic animals. Unfortunately, besides having low therapeutic indices, the drugs have minimal penetration of the bone marrow, where some of the leishmania amastigotes reside, and curing the disease especially the visceral form is very difficult. Elemental antimony as an antimony pill was once used as a medicine. It could be reused by others after ingestion and elimination. Antimony sulfide is used in the heads of some safety matches. Antimony sulfides help to stabilize the friction coefficient in automotive brake pad materials. Antimony is used in bullets, bullet tracers, paint, glass art, and as an opacifier in enamel. Antimony 124 is used together with beryllium in neutron sources, the gamma rays emitted by antimony 124 initiate the photodisintegration of beryllium. The emitted neutrons have an average energy of 24 keV. Natural antimony is used in startup neutron sources. The effects of antimony and its compounds on human and environmental health differ widely. The elemental antimony metal does not affect human and environmental health. Inhalation of antimony trioxide dust particles such as antimony dust is considered harmful and suspected of causing cancer. However, these effects are only observed with female rats and after long-term exposure to high dust concentrations. The effects are hypothesized to be attributed to inhalation of poorly soluble SB particles leading to impaired lung clearance, lung overload, inflammation, and ultimately tumor formation, not to exposure to antimony ions. Antimony chlorides are corrosive to skin. The effects of antimony are not comparable to arsenic. This might be caused by the significant differences of uptake, metabolism, and excretion between arsenic and antimony. For oral absorption, ICRP recommended values of 10% for tartar emetic and 1% for all other antimony compounds. Dermal absorption for metals is estimated at most 1%. Inhalation absorption of antimony trioxide and other poorly soluble SB substances is estimated at 6.8%, whereas a value 1% is derived for SB substances. Antimony is not quantitatively reduced to antimony in the cell, and both species exist simultaneously. Antimony is mainly excreted from the human body via urine. Antimony and its compounds do not cause acute human health effects, with the exception of antimony potassium tartrate, a prodrug that is intentionally used to treat leishmaniasis patients. Prolonged skin contact with antimony dust may cause dermatitis. However, it was agreed at the European Union level that the skin rashes observed are not substance-specific but most probably due to a physical blocking of sweat ducts. Antimony dust may also be explosive when dispersed in the air, when in a bulk solid it is not combustible. Antimony is incompatible with strong acids, halogenated acids, and oxidizers, when exposed to newly formed hydrogen it may form stibine.
The 8-hour time weighted average is set at 0.5 mg M3 by the American Conference of Governmental Industrial Hygienists and by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration as a legal permissible exposure limit in the workplace. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has set a recommended exposure limit of 0.5 mg M3 as an 8-hour TWA. Antimony compounds are used as catalysts for polyethylene terephthalate production. Some studies report minor antimony leaching from PET bottles into liquids, but levels are below drinking water guidelines. Antimony concentrations in fruit juice concentrates were somewhat higher, but juices do not fall under the drinking water regulations. The drinking water guidelines are the TDI proposed by WHO is 6 g antimony per kilogram of body weight. The IDLH value for antimony is 50 mg m3.